Hey, everybody. Welcome to day nine. Hey, you're moving right along here. Today, we're going to start with Matthew chapter five, verses 17 through 19. Don't misunderstand why I've come. I did not come to abolish the law of Moses or the writings of the prophets. No, I came to accomplish their purpose. I tell you the truth, until heaven and earth disappear, not even the smallest detail of God's law will disappear until its purpose is achieved. So if you ignore the least commandment and teach, and teach others to do the same, you will be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But anyone who obeys God's law and laws and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. We frequently want to make Jesus out to be our genie in a lamp. He came to bear our sins, and we are forgiven of those sins as long as we confess those to God. But Jesus came to fulfill the law of Moses. He does not want to make, he does not make these commandments obsolete or make them disappear. He is the complete work of God. He is God incarnate, which means Jesus is fully God and fully man. And by taking our sin upon himself, he completes the work that we cannot. We can find real joy today when we begin to live according to the commandments, not out of duty, not out of chore, but out of our love for God and our willingness to share in his relationship with us. Real joy comes from following a savior. Pray with me. Gracious God, today we understand the real joy found in following Jesus. Your son came to give us hope and allow us to live an abundant life. Give us the strength to be all that you need us to be today. Allow us to live closer and closer to you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Friends, have a great day. See you tomorrow.